We've battled against an army of robots causing chaos and battled for Bikini Bottom, dealt with crazy dream worlds, the creature from Crusty Crab, and defeated Plane to retrieve Neptune's crown in the movie game. I think it's time for a break from platformers and can go into a party game. SpongeBob lights camera pants to be exact. Light Scare Pants was a game that meant a lot to me out of all the Swindle games. Yes, even more than Battle for Bikini Bottom somehow. I played this game a lot as a kid, but just like Battle for Bikini Bottom, this game just had a bigger impact on me. Especially since my sister and I used to play together when we were little. So who made this game? Heavy Iron or Blitz Games? Well, actually none of them did it. It was an in-house developed game by THQ Studio Australia. Yep, THQ Australia took in their own hands to make this party game to rival the likes of Mario Party. You know what? It does it better than Mario Party could in my opinion. No RNG bullcrap to start placement, no board game, no turns, just minigame fun. There's a whole story behind the game too, so let us dive right on in. The story to this game is simple. A director for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is tasked to find additions for the new episode, and even for the lead supervillain role, the Sneaky Hermit. Each area will have a Spongebob character be there to watch the performances of the games you play, and after the games, they'll tell the director who won the most points. Each area will have three games. That might seem small, but they make up for how fun they are. From flipping Krabby Patties, to playing music, to driving a boat course, to catching jellyfish, and more. These games can last three to five minutes depending on the minigame. Sometimes during a game, you will swap places with your teammate if it is a 2v2 game, and sometimes the game will speed up. These can be chaotic, but super fun to add to the crazy games you play here and there. If, by the end of the area, you and someone are tied for the actor role, you play rock, paper, scissors with bubbles. The actor roles are stuff like a waiter, a lookout, a hunter, and even a stunt double. Also, after each area, you see a cutscene of the winner playing the role for the episode. But you'll notice that the cutscenes seem out of order at first, and that is because they don't get put together until the end of the game. But you can still join them out of order until the finale where they are matched together in order of events in the episode. So, what's the episode story? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are framed for destroying the Sand Stadium and get caught when they figure out the culprit might have been the Sneaky Hermit. So the heroes go to stop him while the evil Man Ray and Dirty Bubble want to team up with the Sneaky Hermit, only to later have their lair stolen by him. So they join the heroes to get to downtown before the Sneaky Hermit can steal all the buildings in Bikini Bottom. After a chase, Mermaid Man uses Pepper to make the Hermit sneeze as he flies off, dropping all the buildings back to where they were. And that is the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode. Personally, this game is underrated to me. It's so much fun to compare to Mario Party sometimes, since people can get easily screwed over by computer players or just RNG. While some of the games can get a bit annoying depending on your enjoyment, I rarely had a bad time with the minigames. They were fun or challenging enough to make them enjoyable. Except maybe the soccer game. Get one. It's a random shit for- I thought you I, meant I said the car- that. like the car- I mean, I mean, yes, Fuck. yes. Along with that, the cutscenes are great and really funny from time to time. Dinner? Hey, Nabbit, it's morning, you crazy city folk. I told you no good would come from city folk. Sheesh, who is the winner? Hermit wants big treasure. I bet there's a really big building in the Hermit's sights. The Hermit wears tights? The permit test bites? Old Herbert was right. Enjoy the chum bucket. I know I would. Oh. To the chum bucket! There's a fee for making dramatic announcements. Oh. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> so... What are you in for? I got caught jaywalking. Could you believe it? 
<laughs> so why do I think it deserves the remake treatment? Mainly one thing, the Poppin. Poppin was an issue on the console versions of Spongebob, Balcrick, and Bomb Rehydrated. So considering the areas in the game are smaller and not as open as the levels in the game, there will barely be any Poppin if they possibly do it right with the smaller areas. And it would also help the game run better as a Switch version is slow and the loading times are killer. Anyways, other than that, they probably learned the errors from making their first remake, so I'm sure they could succeed with their next one. While I make good points, it's all up to THQ Nordic to see what they remake next, but I am sure whatever they get in the remake next will just be as good as Bob Ricky Bomb Rehydrated was. Anyways, here's your usual clip showcase from getting footage. Enjoy. I had team monkeys. They I'm ate each other. Excuse me, they what? No, not, not a joke. Almost. Yep. What? I gave them food <laughs> and they didn't touch the food. They ate each other. They ate each other. There's the one who survived didn't even eat. He he didn't eat the food. He just starved to death. What the fuck? So yeah, the good sea monkeys time. fucking hey, caused cannibalism while well, one of them starved himself the to death. Of course I will. Because he wouldn't eat the food. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to feed them? I'll be waiting. The right the food. <laughs> I don't know what the Just regular food. Sea monkey cannibalism. That's interesting. Yeah! How to unregister from NBA draft. I don't want to play. How to dodge NBA draft. We have you surrounded. Come play for the Timberwolves. <laughs> what the fuck? Who, who had the fuck? Yeah. Damn, Daniel. You... <laughs> Hey, stop, I thought you were recording. I, it, it, it is, but they're in the AFK. That's clearly a portobello mushroom. Wait, are Goombas black? Or are they just naturally black? <laughs> Goomba comes up to you and goes, yo. <laughs> yo, what up? Yo, what up? Yo, I'm a portobello mushroom. It starts putting out like gang signs and shit. And it's like a, yeah, <laughs> it's a fucking it's crip. Like... It's a fucking crip. <laughs> crip Goomba. A blood Goomba comes up and just shoots him. Like, yeah, no, but it, like, it grows his hands out and just starts fucking like doing gang signs towards you. <laughs> Look, bud, you, if you don't care about One Piece, all I have to, I have to say one thing to you. 52, 137, 86, 72. What the fuck does that even mean? I just, I just gave all of you his IP address. No. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sh I'm not even sure if my IP address matters because I use the Y- the university Wi-Fi and all that. All right. I have no idea though. Dox the university! I use Darian No, 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 you don't dox yourself. You dox the entire university. Dude, I can <laughs> yeah. dox myself. <laughs> Actually, fair now. enough. Half the time, half of my half of my time here, you would probably just be doxing the university. It's like, yeah, all of you already know where I go to university. <laughs> I can dox myself right now. I don't give a shit. No, don't do that. You have too much to look for. <laughs> live on Earth, doxed. <laughs> I got the Earth IP. Well, now local. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna dox everyone. Look. We live on the planet Earth. The plants are all in place, and I'm down at the. <laughs> no. All right, yeah, and let's start playing it in Happy three, days. two, one. So if I had to rank the four Spongebob GameCube games in tier list, Battle for Bikini Bottom would obviously be in S tier for its great gameplay and classic look. Along with that, it's also humor and levels. In A tier would be Lights, Camera, Pants for being a great party game with a good story behind it. B tier is Courier from the Krusty Krab for being unique and cool but not as fleshed out as the other two. And finally, the movie game in C tier for being good but for the most part annoying and feeling rushed and not as good as what came before it. With that, this is my ranking of the four Spongebob Game of Games that were released that I played through.
With the four SpongeBob GameCube games done, I am unsure what game I want to go over next. The games I want to make a video on are Hand Time, Psychonauts, and Jimmy Neutron and Attack the Twonkies, but I am unsure where to start next. Mainly since Psychonauts, since it's really kicking my ass in the milk my level, but I would still be able to make a video on the first half of the game if that's alright. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the other three Splendor Game videos I made. See you guys in the next video.